Now, just as with the capacitor, when we have an inductor in a circuit, we can consider that it uh, produces a reactance in response to an AC source voltage. And the inductive reactance that we get is calculated in a manner similar to the way that we compute the capacitive reactance. The formula actually is a little simpler for inductive reactance. It's 2 pi FL. Okay, so for example, we have the uh, inductor value 15 millihenries and the frequency 80 kilohertz. We need to find the reactants. Okay, so we have XL is equal to 2 pi FL. So in this case we have 2 pi times 80K times 15 milli. Okay, and just as a reminder, K means 10 to the third and milli means 10 to the negative third. So those two scale factors will cancel out. And the answer is about 7.5 kilo ohms. 7,500 ohms or 7.5 kilo ohms. XL is approximately 7.5 kilo ohms. Now, impedance is also calculated in the same way as when we have the capacitive reactants. The uh, magnitude of the impedance, square root sum of the squares, again, and the phase angle inverse tangent of the uh, ratio of the reactance to the resistance. And the only difference is that the phase angle is positive again. Okay, so for example, we have R is 540 ohms and XL is 800 ohms. We need to find the magnitude of the impedance and the phase angle. Okay, so Z we get by square root sum of the squares. So we have 540 squared plus 800 squared. number and take the square root and we get the answer 965 ohms approximately. Okay and then the phase angle is inverse tangent XL over R so 800 over 540 And the answer is about 56 degrees. Okay, let's do one more example. Now we're given R is 4.3 kilo ohms. And the magnitude of the impedance is 7.8 kilo ohms. We need to find XL and the phase angle. 
Okay, so this time, since we're given the value of the impedance, we need to do square root difference of the squares. XL is 7.8 squared minus 4.3 squared. And we get 42.35, and then take the square root. And the answer is about 6.5 kilo ohms. And by the way, in this example, you notice that I did not bother putting the Ks in here because both the resistance and the reactance are given in units of kilo ohms, then we know the answer is going to come out in kilo ohms too without having to put the K in there. It just saves a step. Okay, now theta, inverse tangent, XL over R. And the answer is about 56 and a half degrees.